Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's vlog first video, we are going to help this noob reach third C using the Dragon Breath, eat the flame fruit, and become Sabo. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the actor slam oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Quick question, Gamer Nom. Where can we buy the Dragon Breath? So it's located here on the wall beside the second quest giver in the second scene. And from there, you will see the NPC, Sabi or Sabo. Spoiler alert, guys, if you're watching One Piece and don't know who Sabo is, please don't watch this part. Please fast forward this to 50 seconds. Okay, so Sabo is the one who ate the flame fruit who is part of Revolutionary Army. I am also sure that the reference of this Faisal is Sabo, so we will turn into him later. For the requirements, you need 1,500 fragments in order to buy this fight style. And for the flame fruit, we will buy it later once we unlock all the Dragon Breath skills. So are you ready to grind, guys? Let's go! For those wondering, yes, we went back to the first CY because it is a lot easier to grind here, especially when you're just level 700. For our initial stats, melee 1,050, defense 1,049. First... We're going to head to the Galley Pirates. We're gonna skip the Galley Captains and the Cyborg. We're just gonna focus here. There is the Wall Strat, but you don't need it because you're kinda strong now. There you go. With just your left clicks, you can defeat this Galley Pirates. So our goal here is to reach level 725. But before we even reach that level, we will unlock our first skill at Mastery 100, the Dragon Rush. So let's try it in a mob. There you go, one tree damage. And it is also multi-target, which will make our grinding faster and easier. Okay guys, again, our goal level here is search level 725. And before we move on to the next C, we will unlock the Observation Hockey first, because that's essential guys. Don't worry, I will make this really fast. So first, I asked my friend with the door fruit, teleport me in the jungle. And you need to step on all five squares, okay, this one, green squares. So that's one, this is the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. After that, a door will open. The quest giver, there you go, the adventurer, get the torch. Okay, after that, teleport to the desert and look for the green door. Use your torch to burn the wooden door, get the cup, teleport to the frozen village, fill it up with some dirty water, give it to the sick man, go to the pirate village, look for his son, and defeat the mob leader here in this small island. Go back to the rich man, he will give you a relic. Go back to the jungle, there you go, and you will find Chunks. Defeat him, you will get the saber, and now you can go to the Skylands and talk to the Lord of Destruction. He will sell the Observation Hockey for 750,000, and that's it. Is that fast, guys? Okay, it's working, so now let's go to the second scene. In with my other guides, we're gonna skip the raiders and go straight with the mercenaries. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to defeat them. Obviously, you're gonna lure three and use your Dragon Rush five times. That's one, that's two, wait for your Dragon Rush to pull down, three, four, and five. So at first, it's really hard, but you really need to have patience. And since we don't have flight to travel faster, we're gonna skip Diamond and go straight with the Swan Pirates at level 775. Guys, last two, mastery in order to unlock our next skill, so let's be patient. Again, for our next target, located at the Area 2 Quest Giver, the Swan Pirates. Same strategy, just lure 4 or 5 guys if you want. Use your Z skill, that's 1. Cool down, that's 2. 3, and you will defeat them in your 4th Z skill. Guys, once you finish a quest, we will now unlock our second skill, the Dragon Flames. So, good thing. It is multi-target, which will make our grinding really fast. Now, you only need 2 sets of Z and X skill to finish a Swan Pirate. Okay. Gamer Nom, are we going to defeat Jeremy, the mini boss in this island? No, guys. We're just gonna stay here and focus on grinding, masteries, and levels. Uh, check. Melee 1,499. Defense 1,200. Gamer Nom, I noticed that you got the spiky black coat. Yes, guys, I only defeated him once, but I regretted it because he's kind of far away. I hope everything is clear. Next area is the green zone. Target mob, the marine captains. Guys, just two sets. Again, one X skill, Z skill, wait for it to cool down. One more X and Z skill, and that's it. Guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 950. 
Atayin natin 25, you will unlock Fajita or Fujidora, the boss in this island. But I don't suggest him because, again, we're close range. And his attacks will have a high chance on hitting you. Check that out. I tried to attack him and he damaged me. But can we beat him, Game Norm? Yes, we can, guys. But I want it to be faster. So instead of having a hard time defeating this boss, I suggest that you go back with the Marine Captains and keep on defeating them. We're gonna grind here with the Marine Captains again at level 950 because our next mob, the Zombies, located in the graveyard, they're easy to defeat. And as proof, I'm gonna show it to you just one combo. There you go, and that's it. You're almost dead, so you can defeat them by just using left clicks or one more skill. Okay, so we're gonna unlock our final skill, the Dragon's Explosion. Now I can say that with only one combo, you can defeat the Zombies. There you go, 1Z, X, and C skill is enough. Okay guys, so we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1000. But wait gamer, no, how about the Vampires? Guys, they're so far apart. Trust me, just stay here with the Zombies. For the stats, 1799 melee defense, 1200. Next area is the Snow Mountains. Guys, again, Defeat the snow troopers, just one combo is enough. But make sure to hit them all because as you can see, I wasn't able to hit the enemy with the Z skill, so I adjusted. There you go. One more Z skill, and that's enough to defeat the snow trooper. Okay, guys, again, we're gonna grind here 150 levels. Yes, we're gonna skip lots of mobs, and as promised, we're gonna start grinding the flame fruit when we reach 400 mastery on this fight style, okay? So we're gonna leave again this area at 1,150, checking our stats, melee 2,247, defense 1,205. Next area, the hot and cold. So we're gonna focus on one mob, and that's the boss, Smoke Admiral. You need at least 4 to 5 combos, yes, using your Z, X, and C skill to defeat him. Just make him miss after every skill, just dodge to the side until he uses his skill while waiting for your cooldown. And that's it guys, he's very easy to defeat. Again, let's do this. Dodge, use your skills, and that's it. By this time, I decided to buy the flame fruit, and good thing it is in stock. So I bought it for, I think, like 250,000 bellies, and that's it. Back to the grinding. We're gonna leave the hot and cold island when we reach level 1250. Next area is the cursed ship. First target is the ship deckhands. Guys, again, with just one combo is enough. We're gonna reach 400 mastery here with the Dragon Breath. So now it's time to level up the mastery of our Flame Fruit. So with that, it's very easy because we're high level and you only need 100 mastery to unlock the Fire Bomb. So now we're becoming more like Sabo. We're using the Dragon Breath as well as the Flame Fruit. Okay guys, why 400 mastery gamer? Because that is the requirement to unlock the Dragon Talon the v2 of the dragon breath so if you want me to make a video of that just comment it on the comment section now guys back to grinding at level 1300 we're gonna start defeating the ship stewards so again guys with the combination of our dragon breath and flame fruit we can defeat any mob with just one combo again we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1350 there you go, and after that, let's check our stats first. Melee max, defense 1250, block fruits 500. Next area is the Ice Castle, guys. We've unlocked our fire flights. So here we're gonna start defeating the Arctic Warriors for just 50 levels. So here we go, 1Z, 1X, and C skill is enough. So I don't know if we need to use the Flame Fruit. I suggest you use it for fun, that you don't get bored. Again, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1400. And after that, we're gonna start defeating the boss in this island, Awakened Ice Admiral. My suggestion, just use the wall strat and he will be easy to defeat. Example gamer gnome, like this one. If you can stalk him here, he can damage you minimally. But you can hit him whenever you want. Just remember, you have the flame fruit in the dragon breath. So guys, we're gonna grind here. We're gonna do server hop until you reach level. 1,500 and that is the minimal requirement to go to the third C. For our final stats at 1,500, melee max, defense 1,250, block fruits 950. Don't forget to do the Coliseum quest. And after that, fight Indra. Make sure he reaches half HP. Head to the green zone. Talk to Mr. Captain. And that's it. Welcome to the third C. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.